So welcome to step two, and in step two, we're going to convert our application, our AngularJS application, to use TypeScript instead of JavaScript, and we're also going to start adding some nice build tooling to our application. Now we're using TypeScript because modern Angular is built using TypeScript, and it's the language which is recommended for you in order to build your Angular applications. And I find that in the migration process, converting to TypeScript early on really, really helps later on when you want to migrate eventually to Angular. And actually, an Angular JS application which is written using TypeScript is actually a pretty pleasant, nice application uh, to work with. It solves a lot of the, the issues which we had with JavaScript. Now, if you're not confident with TypeScript or you don't know TypeScript very well, I have a free resource which you can go to in order to learn TypeScript. Now, if you go to my website, codecraft.tv, and you scroll down, or you basically go to my Angular 5 course, and if you go, you see the second section is one called ES6 JavaScript and TypeScript. Now, this whole course is 100% free, so um, if you go here and, and, and then there's in, all the videos are now available for you to watch for free, so you don't have to pay anything. And this whole, this section is just a section which brings you up to speed to modern JavaScript and TypeScript. And again, if you're not used to TypeScript, just go here and review just this one section. It's not, doesn't give you all of the knowledge of TypeScript, but I've designed this section to give you just enough TypeScript in order to build Angular applications. So again, if you're not used to TypeScript, go to my website, go to my Angular 5, uh, Angular course, and check out the section on TypeScript. Now, the really nice thing about TypeScript is that it's just a superset of JavaScript. So you can take any JavaScript file, rename the extension from JS to TS, and it will work just as well in TypeScript as it did in JavaScript. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through, first what we're gonna go through is all of our JavaScript files and just change the extension from JS to TS. Okay, so now I've gone through and I've changed all of our JavaScript files .js files to TypeScript files .ts files. So one of the features in TypeScript that we want to take advantage of is modules. So if you go back to, if you want to review of what modules are, again, if you go to the codecraft.tv site and check out the TypeScript section, it has a review of module loading. Now module loading will eventually become a native part of JavaScript, but it's not there right now. Um, however, we can use module loading in TypeScript. So as well as converting everything to TypeScript files, let's start taking advantage of module loading and create index.ts files, which already load in the various different dependent um, packages, dependent modules. So for instance, in controllers, I'm gonna create a file called index.ts. And inside there, I'm going to add an import statement. So I'm going to import the person create controller, the person edit, the list, and the search controller. So I'm going to import all of those inside my index.ts. Now, index.ts is a special name for a, a file. So then adding like index.ts files actually really, really helps with the bundling, which we're going to do later on. So I'm going to add them for the other folders as well. So I'm going to add one for directives. These are all the ones for directives. Let's add one for filters. It's not really needed. It only has one. But let's add one anyway for consistency. And let's add one for services. Okay, so now we've converted all of our JavaScript files to TypeScript files. And we've also added index TypeScript files, which have import statements for the relative modules. This really, really helps when we eventually build out our build tooling using Webpack. 